Pope Francis on July 31 appointed Jesuit Archbishop Cyril Vasile, former Secretary of the Office for Eastern Churches and Presiding Officer of the Greek Catholic Diocese of Košice in Slovakia, as the Pontifical Delegate for the Syro Malabar Archdiocese of Ernakulamangamali in Kerala, southern India. Pope Francis's special representative is asked to study the crisis in the Archdiocese and propose a solution in connection with the implementation of the uniform method of offering Mass that a section of its priests and faithful have opposed, leading to the closure of St. Mary's Basilica, the main church. Meanwhile, the laity front of the Archdiocese that leads the protests says Archbishop Vasile's appointment is improper and the Ernaculum Archdiocesan Forum sounds skeptical about the prelate's impartiality. A statement from Le Jamie Augustine and spokesperson Raju Kanjukaran accused Archbishop Vasile of leading the whitewashing of Cardinal George Allencherry's land scam and the expulsion of Vernaculum Archdiocese's two auxiliary bishops from the bishop's house without the knowledge of the Vatican or the Pope. It further says the faithful and priests of Vernaculum Archdiocese view with great concern that the papal delegate had studied in Rome with Archbishop Andrew Thashath of Tricker, the Archdiocese's current apostolic administrator. The Archdiocese Committee says the appointment shows that neither the Vatican or the Syro Malabar Synod wants to make an honest and impartial solution to the problem, the statement adds. A press statement from the Syro Malabar Synod Secretariat says the proposal for a pontifical delegate was first mooted at the May 4 meeting of the Syro Malabar Church's permanent synod in the Vatican with Cardinal Pietro Parolin, the Secretary of State. The statement says Archbishop Vasile would arrive in Ernaculum, Kochi, on August 4, accompanied by Jesuit Father Sonny Kakaravaleo. Professor of Canon Law at the Pontifical Oriental Institute in Rome would accompany the delegate. The Archdiocese will continue to be administered by Archbishop Andrews Thashath of Tricker, the Apostolic Administrator. Looking at the development from a different point of view, Jesuit Father Stanislaus Alla, who teaches at the Delhi-based Vidya Giodi Theological Institute, says that it is important to understand the purpose and focus of the visit as defined by the Vatican. Both Archbishop Vasile and Father Kakaravaleo, whom Father Stanislaus knows, says that they are coming to listen to various constituencies. Obviously, both have their own earlier knowledge and assessment of the matter, but now they are coming precisely with a goal. Usually, the visitators come with openness and strive to be objective, and not confined by what they already know. The purpose of their visit is to be willing to listen to, to gain fresh knowledge and insights into the concern, and be willing to discern together to find new ways of resolving. Instead of being doubtful, it is helpful to look forward to this visit with this enthusiasm and hope, trusting that the Lord of Surprises can work wonders through our vulnerabilities, Father Allah says. Reported by by Jose Covey, Matter India.